philosophical and cultural backgrounds. But we have come together as one people in creating this great exposition of excellence, of pride and performance. We have become one family and that spirit of working together must continue in the years that lie ahead. It's now time for World Expo to come to an end. 184 days have come and gone quickly and together we have given the world pleasure, education, celebration and fun. We have made people smile and we have made this the happiest place on earth in 1988. And now, as we share the closing ceremony of World Expo 88, and the sun fades on this magnificent site, and the lights go out for the last time, it is my fervent hope that the spirit of Expo 88 will never fade, and we must make sure that special things that we have enjoyed through this exposition become part of our daily lives from now on. The striving for excellence in our countries, the commitment to doing our best every day, the taking of time to enjoy the companionship of our friends and families, of bringing more fun and happiness into our lives and theirs. For me, it's been a unique privilege and responsibility, and no person could have had a greater privilege or a more enjoyable responsibility. And I have been honoured to share this work with so many wonderful people. Mr Prime Minister and Mr Premier, I pay tribute to the Australian people and our visitors from all over the world. We have had millions of visits and details of those will be given by the Premier and Prime Minister in a moment. But for each and every one of you who have come here, we hope that you will take the spirit of Expo with you in the future. I thank you for all that has been done. It has been a privilege to work with you. And as we part and say goodbye to the many wonderful friends that we have worked with and we have made, I'm sure that there'll always be a little corner in your hearts, which is World Expo 88. I know there will be in mine. Thank you for all of your contribution and may the light of World Expo 88 never fade.